Hello, what's up and what's happening? Welcome back for another Miles Local 24 Summer Ducks. Today, the SAU Bulls are taking on the North Carolina Tar Heels. They're 6 and 3. Let's check out some of their star players, man. 86 overall. This is their free safety. He has 88 speed and 65 tackle. The inside linebacker, 86 overall, 80 speed, 89 tackle. Then the quarterback is Michael Fatidi, Fatidi, Fufufu, whatever. He's 84 overall, 90 throw power, and 82 throw accuracy, man. So, I know this team isn't the best ever, but I was not expecting what happened. Anyways, man, we're gonna drop, he's gonna drop back the pass, and down he goes in the hands of McCormick, gets a sack every single game to fight out Beast. Then Miller with a great play in the secondary, forces them to go three and outs. So now it's second and seven over the middle, and my main man, Finner, off to the races. Their star, their star free safety, cannot catch up to him, and Finner's gonna take that one to the crib. Big time touchdown pass right there of 60. Five yards. Now, Fatita, Fajita, whatever his name is, gonna find Quinn over the middle. Big time catch by the big tight end. So it's first and 10 from 33 yards. Fatita dropping back to pass. Gonna find Reed over the middle who makes the catch. Now, second and three. Give us that INT. Thomas coming up clutch, man. Thomas, the last couple games, has turned into a hard hitting Deion Sanders. A physical, more physical champ. Better than no champ, but pretty physical in his own right. Now we can get the ball to Adam Clark and look at the big fella. Rumble. Bumble and run everybody over in his way. Gets into the ends on this big halfback and showing that he should get some more carries, man. To so drop back the pass right here. Going over the middle. That's going to be caught by Franklin. And that's going to result in a nice gain of nine seconds. And one drop back the pass. And we get the user sack off the edge. From the 26 yard line now. It's third and seven. And down he goes. Back to back sacks. And back to back three and outs. Plus a pick as well, man. Defense is out here balling. And like I said, this dude is playing like prime time. We all know prime time was a great punt returner. And look at Thomas down the left sideline. Too much speed. And not only did he do that, he going to high step like his name is Dion Prime Time Sanders too. Number 25 is taking over this ball game, man. So now they going to go with the ground game. But no, no, no. The stingy SAU defense slams door shut. Toss play now. Nothing but white jerseys up over there. But Moore is able to get away from a couple of them and pick up a nice game. Send him third and one. We send another blitz. We get there, but not in time as he finds Chalmers in the flat. And that's going to zone the first down from 34 yard and out in another pick. This time Miller, baby. It's Miller time as he takes this one to the end zone. Touchdown SAU. And just like that, it is 28 to nothing. 28 to nada. That's right, man. So now Fajita, 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 whatever his name is, he's going to take over. He's going to run over to the right side, pick up a gain of five. Now going over, they're going to find his man, George. And George, he's going to pick up a first down, move those chains. Looking downfield, stands tall in the pocket and throws me a yahoo. Zay. Her. I appreciate that player, and we got this thing going back the other way first, and 10 Henderson, he's going to cut to the left side, spin move, and he's going to pick up a nice game, setting up second and short, for the 26 yard, we're going to go with the option and keeper, but my man O'Connor gets popped, but has enough for a fresh set of dams. Now O'Connor looking over the middle. O'Connor has more open, but that's going to be intercepted by Graham. And Graham, he has now six interceptions on the year so far for the UNC Toyers. Third and two. They can go right up that gut with more and more getting it brought down from behind by Brown. That's his fourth tackle of the ball game. But that's going to result in a first down for UNC. Right there, that pass was ugly. That pass was extremely ugly. From the 19 yard and second and 10, going with the halfback pass. He connects the dots, gonna find Perez, and that's gonna result in a first down for the UNC Tar Heels. Second and 10, dropping back, looking downfield. That's gonna be caught by George, but they are still just taking whatever we give them. They're not really taking any chances downfield. Right here, though, that pass is off of the hands of Perez, and they gonna have to give us the ball right back. Adam Clark got that gut. He's gonna go nowhere. Second and eight, we get the ball to Henderson, and Henderson. He's going to pick up a nice game till he gets brought down in a physical fashion by Graham. So here comes O'Connor looking, throwing this one to Finner who makes the catch, baby. First down, S. Hey, you, from the 36, now Anderson, he gets the carry. Anderson, he's going to cut up field, and he's going to break a couple of tackles, and he's going to pick up a first down, 73 yards on the ground so far for SAU. Anderson with another carry, takes it back the other way, down the right sideline, finally gets brought down deeper in UNC territory as he picks up a first down. From the 21-yard line, O'Connor going over the middle, going to find Ware, who makes the catch, gets brought down by Graham, but has enough for a fresh set of downs, first and go from the seven. Now it's second to go. O'Connor going to take it himself. No, he's going to stop. He's going to pop. 
He gonna find Chris Oliver, baby, number 81 in the end zone again. 35 to nothing. 35, now the SAU is doing their thing. Now the key is, of course, to get the number two, number one spot so we can get into that national title game. Right there, beautiful play by the quarterback in the front, Perez. Because you guys know that when we, when we were number one, we got leapfrog for number two. Then when we were number two, we got leapfrog for number three. So it's gonna come down between us, Arizona, Ohio State and Florida. Those are the four top teams in the country. Three of those teams are undefeated. One of those teams will lose after this here game. So Reed makes the catch over the middle. That's going to result in a first down. Now, dropping back. Looking over the middle. Oh, I thought I had another chance for a Yahoo! Zay. Hub, we cannot get our hands on it. So this is the best drive that UNC has put together all game long. Perez over the middle with the soft hands. Makes the catch and picks up a first down. From the 12th yard, another plate fake going to the air. That's going to be caught. Bob Chalmers had two tight ends in, Arizona, in the area, excuse me, and Chalmers, he brings that one in. Now they go to the ground game with Moore, and Moore is able to use his speed to get into the end zone. Touchdown UNC on that six-yard run, and the fans finally have something to cheer about. O'Connor, though, dropping back. O'Connor gets hit as he lets that one go, trying to go downfield, but that's going to be caught by Anderson. That's going to give us five straight completions for Todd O'Connor. Rolling out is Todd. Todd going to stop, going to pop, going to find who, but Finner, who else? Man, that's another first. Down. Now it's second and 20 after they hold him call and O'Connor goes over the middle. That's going to be caught by Moore. I do not know how he squeezed that one in here, but he did. And that is going to be a fresh set of downs. Now O'Connor taking a shot deep to Freddie Moore. And Fred Moore is a flat out monster, man. He is only a true freshman. The future looks bright for SAU at quarterback and at receiver and even at running back. You know we stack, baby. We are stacked. Second and three. O'Connor going to step a wide receiver screen and finna breaks that tackle. Oh, they in trouble. Makes a man miss. Oh, they in even more trouble. Inside the 20 finally gets brought down. Let's go, baby. It's not first and 10 from the 13. Getting the ball to Adam Park. And look at the big fill again to the end zone for the second time today. We got to have faith in our running backs. Yes, they might fumble a little bit too much for my liking, but you guys a lot a lot of times maybe I overreact a little bit too much to these fumbles. Anyway, Lewis gets the pick, and we got this thing going back the other way. The defense is straight up dominating. O'Connor going to roll out. O'Connor, is he going to take himself? Yes, he will. On second and down, he picks up a fresh first down move. Those chains. O'Connor over the middle of the five. Finner. And Finner going to pick up a first down for the Bulls. First and second of all, excuse me, from the five-yard line. And Anderson takes it to the crib. Touchdown, S-A-U. Back in the end zone again, where we belong, making it a 56 to 7 ball game. That's right, a 56 to 7 ball game. Now, Parrish, he is in for the starting quarterback. He is the backup quarterback, and he actually throws a nice pass right there. Try him back to pass one more time. He actually throw a nice pass right there, and Chalmers, he is able to hang on to it. Now, driving back one more time. Get that thing out of there. Bounces off of the hand of Miller and over the foot of Miller into the hands of Joe Smith. This DB group is freaking fantastic. The coach is loving it. I'm loving it. We got this thing going back the other way to give us the Adam Park and the big fella. He's going to take that one up into UNC territory. First down SAU. Now they get the ball to Anderson. He got a little bit more speed, but he gets hit at the first down marker, but picks up a nice gain of nine. Third and one. Adam Clark again. Bounce off one man. Turns the corner. Gets brought down by Graham, but that's going to be a 15-yard face match. And now we're inside the red zone. Second and go. Henderson up the gut. Takes this one to the one yard line, third and goal. Now Todd O'Connor gonna roll out. Todd O'Connor gonna take it himself. Todd O'Connor is in the end zone. 63 to seven. Drop him back. Another pick, this time by my man Dave Lewis, his second one on the day. First and 10 before the fourth quarter gets here. We go up top, and it's gonna be caught by the best receiver in the country. And as of right now, he is the number one Heisman. Hopeful. So you know I'm going to try him to get some catches next week. But next week, we take on number four Miami in a very, very important game. If we win that game, I have a feeling that we will be the number one and number two team in the country. You see that I did get Ken Campbell some playing time, but he was 0 for 4. No, no need to see that. We whipped this team's tail feather. We are moving on to our last two games of the season. We're taking on Miami. Then we're going to be taking on Texas Tech. And Texas Tech, I believe, that one. The last two national titles, they went to the last two national titles. One of one or the other. That's what I'm trying to say. One or the other, man. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As you see right here, we are the number two team in the country. So if we beat this team, we should be number one or number two. One problem is our bye week before we play Texas Tech is the same week that Ohio State plays Michigan. 
And I have a feeling if Ohio State does work versus Michigan, there will be number one and number two as well. Florida, they're still undefeated. So it's going to be a crazy last two weeks of the season. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'm out. Peace. Hot sauce.